racing post. Nicky Henson dropping back two miles. I said, what? You know, so, so, so what was the, the school of thought around it all? Trust in our leader. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, he's always quite gassy first time on the track. So um, uh, the McManus team and uh, the boss as well thought that it was probably the best way to go and have a good race, but not bottom him out, as it were, being so close to the festival. So um, I thought it was job done. Not that he's got many Achilles heels, but uh, if he did have one in last year, it was his suspected with his jumping. Mm. Uh, but you must have been delighted the way he jumped at Newbury. Uh, we were very happy. I and mean, Hen Knight has done an incredible amount of work um, on him. And I've been over there, you know, ever since the end of the summer, really, just working on him and taking it slowly, really. Um, what, almost back to basics? Oh, very much back to basics, okay. yeah. Yeah, over telegraph poles and round her loose school, which they did a good feature on uh, Sky Sports the other day. Um, a bit of that and then just taking it slowly and building it up, building it up. And then uh, I think the, the finished result was on yesterday. And he, he just looked to me with a horse that had self-belief. I, I never quite felt convinced with him over fences before. Yeah, he's certainly matured as well. He's got another summer on his back and um, I think he's, he's beginning to really show what he can do and almost be the finished article. And, and how did you approach the race at, at Newby? Did you decide, look, we know he's going to get further, so we just let him bowl or, or, or you knew that he'd be keen anyway? Exactly, we knew he'd be keen and he'd probably tank you to the front anyway. So, um, and he's a very different horse at home. You know, he's so laid back and relaxed, you'd never assume that he could do what he did yesterday. Um, he's a different beast on the racetrack, that's for sure. And he had a wind operation, which I assume hasn't done him any harm. Exactly. I mean, he saw his race out well. Um, he's just made a small mistake at the last. I mean, he didn't really make a mistake. I probably made the mistake. And well, then you, you, he's you chipped in. You had to in. go for it, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, the stride was there if, if you could. Um, but it was great to see him do something. And, and I think the last fence there probably showed what a good job they've done at home. Um, you know, because last year he could have done anything. But, it, but in hindsight... You just, it doesn't happen with a Gold Cup horse to go and do, I mean, arguably, he's been beaten by a horse who could, could be the champion chaser this year. Could be. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why, you know, you, certainly you, in the Ryanair. Yeah, you rely on people <laughs> like the governor to make these decisions and he knows what he's doing and he knows his horse is inside out. So you just have to trust him. Does, does he work at home, like, you know, like he could run in a two mile race if you wanted him to? No, I mean, he definitely doesn't. And like I said before, he was, um, he's a very different horse on the race course. Um, he did it last year as well with, uh, or two years ago as it were, um, over hurdles, you know, where he just took his way to the front and, and that was that. But um, no, it's, it's interesting. I was, I was so impressed. The only thing I immediately thought, I completely thought differently before the race, I thought, will he stay in a Gold Cup? <laughs> because if he's got that much speed... I mean, that was the only question I thought that came out of it. Sure, I mean, he's going to have a nice, easy week this week, settle him down, and, um, you know, you'll have to have a bit of cover in the Gold Cup, and see, let's see what happens. But it was, it was, it was some comeback, wasn't it? I mean, it, it was just... It was a great run, because, you know, everyone's been waiting for him to come out this season, and that's the question on everyone's lips, you know, going past Christmas, where's Champ, where's Champ? And, um, you know, it was an idea which uh, I think surprised everyone, but uh, I think it paid off, and I'm, I'm, we'll know the result.